Hi everybody, my name is Anne. Thanks for joining me today. We're on Art on the Creek and this is my home studio in Parker, Colorado. I, from time to time, like to shop on Etsy. So I was lucky enough to stumble upon Raquel Clark. She owns an Etsy shop called Aquarelli Art, and I will link to everything in the description. We struck up a conversation and she was so kind. She's so generous. She sent a little bit of extras for me to share with you, and we're gonna start doing that today. So I've got a little special surprise for you. We are going to take a look at the Schmincke Horridum Glacier set of super granulating watercolors. Let's go play. Here is Raquel's store on Etsy, Aquarelli Art. And um, she has, gosh, she has just so many things to offer. She has dot cards, she has curated sets, she has sample sizes. You can get three different pan sizes from her. Everything is so well laid out and so beautifully packaged and created that it really does save you money to shop this way if you're just looking to try something. She has some cute stickers too. So check out her shop, I'll put a link in the description. But meanwhile, let's get started. Well, Raquel, I really owe you a big apology. I love your store. I really do. And I was so excited to get this. We, we were out of town for an extended period of time. Um, our, we're, we're in Colorado, as you know, and our grown sons and their families with our grandkids live on the East Coast. And um, we got a new grandbaby. And so we went out to welcome him and say hello to both families. We were gone for, I think, six weeks, and that's why I have this huge backlog of things because, you know, you get home and, and life goes on. We've been home for quite a while, but um, <laughs> new patio furniture, uh, getting things situated outside, redoing parts of the patio, it's just been, it's a lot to be an adult, <laughs> but you guys know that. So at any rate, I was so excited that this was there. Look at her cute little sticker. It's just, it's one she probably made. It's just a wash of, of watercolor. And then she was, uh, she started her shop in 2021. I feel like supporting the small business is really the backbone of, um, of our country, if not the world now with the internet. I mean, I sound like I just woke up from 1990, but you know what I mean. <laughs> I think supporting people that are really trying to do something fun and make their work life fun is a worthy effort. So I will share this with you now. At, like, so I said we were out of town. This is postmarked April 29th. So I am so sorry, Raquel. This has been a, a whirlwind of a spring for us, but I'm so excited. I had to open this up to see what was in here because frankly, it's been enough time that I kind of forgot. So I remembered all of these cute little things. Let me move this out of the way because this is so cute what she sent. So I have these things here and this wonderful little note with my name stamped on it. I love little personal touches, a wax seal that says thank you. And let's see what she says. I like this color brown. It's kind of chocolatey. Oh my goodness. And thank you so much for your order and support in my shop. I hope you love your beautiful new paints. I've sent you a few goodies to look over and if you feel like it would add to your video, please feel free to review them. Well, we're gonna do that, Raquel. So thank you so much, I'm so excited. And then I've got a code for 15% off. Share it with your viewers and I will. It is Ann15. And she was so nice. I have to tell you, I just, uh, I shared with her how excited I was to get these. And I happened to mention that, um, that I had a channel. She checked it out. She was so, so excited. So this is really a thrill for me because I really hope that, uh, that you guys can take advantage of this, this, uh, coupon code. Let's see what she says. A dot cards. Let's open those first. These are printed on arches or Stonehenge paper. I only use higher quality to hold up to wedding, re-wedding, scrubbing, and the like. And that is so true. Do you remember when I did the video on the uh, Da Vinci watercolors and they were in those cool little egg cartons? Well, that paper did not hold up to um, using as a palette. So this is nice because these dot cards, you will be able to use them as a palette. Oh my gosh, look how fun these are. These are the... Schmincke Horridum Super Granulating Urban Watercolors. I've got yellow, 
brown, green, gray, and red, and these are so great. This is such a fun thing to have. Okay, and then we have glacier. This is so great. Glacier, glacier blue, glacier brown, green, turquoise, and black. And I am so excited to have these uh, 3D printed palette. I make these myself and arch is paper with a micron pen for the swatch card. Look at this. This is so flippin' adorable. This is like a little black Altoids tint. In fact, I found this in my desk upstairs and I thought, oh, I've never opened these and they're ancient so I can dump these mints out. <laughs> and and use this for a uh, a watercolor palette but i don't have anything as cute as this look how darling she has this this is a micron pen she's used arches paper here and look at this isn't this the greatest it's got a magnetic thing to hold it in there so you could take this out paint with it and then you've got a little place for water and a mixing palette you take this little piece of paper out and you're all set that is so cute so that's one of the things she sent and now this M Graham watercolors, the Desert Southwest set. That's right. That's what I got. This Schmincke Super Granulate and Glacier colors. Look at how nice this is. Everything. Oh my gosh. Okay. So this this is so wonderful because it is the size of a business card. I could keep this in a file. If you're old enough to remember a Rolodex, these would be so beneficial because you could just put it in there and then have it, or you could put it on a ring, just put a little punch hole in there and put it on a ring. But these are so nice because you have all of the information here. You have all of the colors that come in the, in the M. Graham Watercolors Desert Southwest set. It explains their pigment information. Are they granulating? Are they staining? Are they opaque? It has everything on there and the light fastness ratings. I am super, super excited about that. Look at how wonderful this is. What a great, caring display. Let's just, I'll use this little book here. This is my, uh, the book that I tend to use for plein air. Here, let me zoom in just a bit. Move my water up here. Get situated. Not using a ruler, folks. Just going with it. Not bad. Not bad. So you can see how opaque they are. Do this. And black. Nine six five. Alrighty. Now this this is not cotton paper and it's not that textured, but I love this sketchbook so much that I think we're going to be able to see some good results from this. Look at this. I'm so happy. I like Schmincke Hordum. I I. How can I say this? One of the things that is uh, a very important feature in their company, ooh, that just rewets beautifully, is that they use uh, the best of whatever crop of gum Arabic is available to them that year. Well, that's also something that can make it kind of frustrating to use Schmincke Hortum paints because sometimes the pigment load, I don't think, is as intense as it should be. That's not a negative, it's just a characteristic, and these glacier paints are holding true to that axiom. They just lay down a little more subtly. Here's the turquoise. And now for the green, I'm going to try something different here. Oh, this is a nice one. It kind of rewets like some of the earth greens, the green earth, I should say. That's nice. Look how it's kind of sheer. Very nice, kind of a gray green. Oh my goodness right away you can see it separate into its different pigments this one might be my favorite one of the bunch <laughs> and you can really see that pr233 come through these i'm seeing a lot of granulation but i'm not seeing the the multi pigments come through this brown i love it's so velvety it's a pbr6 and a pg26 and then finally Let's look at the glacial black. And that one is a PBK 11 and a PB 35. Well, I had high hopes. I had high hopes that this one would be an intense granulator and we'd really be able to see the blue particles in with the black, but it felt just a little bit short for me. And that's on Schmincke Horridum. I, I feel like they're excellent paints, don't get me wrong, but don't expect a huge pigment load when you're working with Schmincke Horridum paints. 
I, I suspect that it's because of their variance in gum Arabic, but I, you know, I might be wrong. I don't know. That would take um, probably another video just devoted to that alone. But as an artist, I think we're primarily interested in how these perform on paper. So that's what this review is about. And for me, you can see these are beautiful. Don't get me wrong. I absolutely love them. But let's take, for instance, the, uh, the, the Glacier Blue there. It's a PB29, which is ultramarine. And that's a known granulator, just about everyone has that one. Mixed with a PG50, which is a beautiful color on its own. The PG50 is a cobalt teal. Cobalts granulate very well. I found that the cobalts can sometimes have a lighter pigment load in general as a pigment um, when I use them. But I don't know if any of these things I'm saying is, is scientifically true. All I know is that this is based on my, uh, my user experience. So please keep that in mind with this review. But when we look at those swatches of the Glacier Blue, and I'll swatch them again for you here on this paper, it has a lot more texture. On the Glacier Blue, with the Ultramarine, with that uh, Cobalt Teal, it's just, where's the teal? Where is the teal? I'm not seeing it. <laughs> I don't know. So, it, so my point is, if you're going to have an Ultramarine Blue and only one in your set, maybe just get an ultramarine blue. You don't, you don't have to spend the extra money to get this one that's super granulating because um, you're not really going to see that teal show up, I don't think. You know, if you've got some paintings and you've had a different experience, uh, let me know. I mean, as I'm looking back at this now on the, on the voiceover in the sketchbook swatch, I can see it very, very subtly on, on the edge of the wet portion down below the dark line in my swatch, but not enough to make an impact to make me want to run out and buy a tube. So that one, I would say for the Glacier set, for me personally, I wouldn't buy the set, but there's a couple winners in here that I would love to have. I am a sucker for turquoise, so I would just have this just to collect turquoise because it granulates phenomenally. This one is a PG50, again, that cobalt teal, with a PV16, and that's mineral violet. What a neat combination. I'm not seeing the mineral violet show up. But I got to say, turquoise is just one of my favorite colors. So I would get this one just to add to a turquoise collection. But if you are looking for that dual pigment separation, I just don't think you're going to see it in the Glacier one here. But then we get to the green. This one is phenomenal. This is a uh, PR233 and a PG50. And again, that PG50 is a cobalt teal, which granulates naturally anyway, plus a potter's pink. Ah, the skies have opened, the angels are singing. I am the happiest that I've ever been as an artist. These are two of my favorite colors, Potter's Pink and a Turquoise. I, you can't go wrong. I absolutely love this and I love how it uh, performed both on the rougher paper, the paper with more texture, and in my sketchbook. And the sketchbook, remember, isn't even cotton. I love the sketchbook so much because it, it really performs like a cotton paper. And it also lifts very well too. I didn't put salt in these, I didn't do any lifting. But I, I know that these will give you no trouble in, in both of those aspects. Uh, okay, so then moving on to the brown. That one is a PBR6, which is a yellow iron oxide. All of the iron oxides are natural granulators as well. And um, the yellow is, I guess, a little bit more environmentally friendly. I, I've only done cursory research on that. But it's a really good strong pigment to choose. And that one is with a PG26. And that is a cobalt green. So as much as I love turquoises and cobalts, there are three in this set that I would definitely buy full tubes of. Now, again, that Glacier Turquoise, it's a great granulator. It looks really good, but I'm not seeing the violet. I love that Glacier Green. I would use that in just about everything and adore it intensely. It's just, I can see it for card makers in snow scenes. Um, I used it on this mountainscape here coming up. And it was just lovely. I can't get enough of it. And then that Glacier Brown, ironically, worked better on the sketchbook paper than it did on this 100% cotton paper with more texture. The Glacier Black. That one is a PBK11, which is a Mars Black or a Lunar Black, known for extraordinary granulation, mixed with a PB35. Here, I almost think they would have been better off mixing it with Ultramarine. I... I just am not seeing the cerulean blue. The PB35 is a cerulean blue. I'm not seeing it. It would look really cool if it would show up, but in the swatch I did on the, the Aqua Press, the, sorry, the Stonehenge, the, the bigger sheet, it just doesn't show up. And it shows up a little bit in this small sketchbook, but you've really got to tip it and you almost have to squint. So it's not enough 
to put money behind the entire set. In my opinion, it's just my opinion. I would say buy these individually and here's the ones I recommend. Number one, Glacier Green. Number two, Glacier Brown. And number three, Glacier Turquoise, just because I love turquoise. <laughs> So you could, you could get away with just buying the two if you're looking for definite pigment separation. But that brings me to a really important point, you guys. I don't want you to think, oh my gosh, Anne demonstrated this on Art on the Creek and I just really have to have that item. I don't want to be the agent of your financial distress. If these paints are something that you already had in mind and you just kind of wanted to see them in action before you decided to make a purchase, that's what I want you to use this video for as that kind of a tool. Um, when you are purchasing these curated palettes, it is always a great idea, I think, to be able to test them out before you commit to full-size tubes because a tube of watercolor is going to last you probably a lifetime unless you are a professional painter. So before you dive in deep and get those, you know, set of five 15 milliliter tubes, no matter what the brand, my goal here with these types of reviews is to highlight for you what I like and what I dislike about them, just, just in my opinion as an artist and instructor. Whenever I review any art supply on this channel, it's simply to make you a more informed consumer. And I hope this one has helped you. I just kind of made this scene up. Um, I'm picturing glaciers with snow actively running off into the water. I really enjoyed how these pigments kind of played with one another and mixed on the paper. So in just a little bit here, I'm going to play with those again in my, uh, in my uh, travel journal and uh, just see what the paints look like when they just mix directly on the paper. Because when I was painting this, I really got some cool combinations. I love blues and browns together though. I love uh, greens and browns, reds and browns. Those are some of my favorite mixes. And here I just did this little blob over here. Um, it's still a little bit wet, you can see, of just watching the pigments mix on the page. Sadly, I didn't get any new insight into the uh, Glacier Blue, Glacier Turquoise, or Glacier Black. I felt like they still just don't separate into their separate pigments as much as they should, in my mind. It's my opinion. But uh, for what it's worth, please visit Aquarelli Art on Etsy, Raquel Clark. And don't forget to use that code, the AN15, for your 15% off a purchase from her shop. Remember, she has these curated palettes in cute little quarter pan sets. And I'm sorry if cute isn't the right word, practical. I'm going to say practical quarter pan sets where you can jump in, try these without breaking the bank, and you can support a small business in the process. Thank you so much, guys. I really appreciate you watching today, and I hope that this video answered the questions that you might have about Schmincke Hortum's super granulating watercolors. I've got a couple more reviews on these products, and I will link to those as well. Um, gosh, happy painting. <laughs> I hope everybody has a great week, and we'll see you next time. Take care, everybody. Bye now.